So right now there are no firearms on the market that prevent someone from using them if they're not authorized. And we wanted to change it. Ginger Chandler's spent much of her career in the firearms industry. But rather than making conventional guns, she's decided to build her own, a so-called smart gun. To use, it must be unlocked biometrically by its registered user. In other words, you don't have to think about putting your gun in the safe to prevent it from being mishandled by another person because, well, the safe is in the gun. You can see now the green light in the rear. It means it's safe. And if I tried to pull the trigger, well, the slide's not dropped. I have to drop the slide. But if I tried to pull the trigger, I can't. Really embracing technology. The only way it can be used is through what's known as personalized authentication technology. So you can unlock it and lock it with your finger. And you can see it's unlocked and it's red on the back. Lock it back. You can use the app to unlock it and lock it. And then the pin pad on the side only unlocks it. And it's just a, a four digit code on the side. Her invention, Ginger admits, won't solve all the gun related issues in this country. When unlocked, it operates just like a standard 9mm pistol, which may still be used for ill. And many argue selling more guns is adding fuel to the fire. Though it could, she hopes, prevent someone, a criminal, an infant, who's not meant to access the gun, from causing harm. And are you confident that this weapon is going to save lives? Oh yes, absolutely. Because people die every year. I mean, there's, we had, in, in here in Tennessee, I just learned that two weeks ago, a child grabbed a, a gun out of a backpack and, and, and died. And we can solve that, and it's just not that hard anymore. The technology's here. We can do it. The technology, created by Lodestar, is already being welcomed in political circles. President Joe Biden's own campaign platform called for all firearms sold nationwide to be smart guns. Other industries and some lawmakers are pushing gun manufacturers to immediately adopt this technology. This is my cell phone. Um, Mr. Kelly, it scans my fingerprint each time I go to unlock it. Is this a weapon? No, ma'am. Can this fire bullets that shred people's vital organs? This phone? Uh, no, Congresswoman, it can't. Then why should this device require more steps to operate than your company's firearms, which have been used in accidental shootings, mass shootings, and homicides? Yet, unfortunately, it's not that simple. The more advanced the technology, the higher the likelihood of malfunctions. Batteries may fail. Hackers could even unlock a device. In an emergency, reliability is key. You we are asked all the time, well, my iPhone has a fingerprint recognition or facial ID recognition. And in fact, uh, some CEOs were presented with that comparison in recent congressional testimony. And the difference is that if your iPhone doesn't work through either facial recognition or fingerprint recognition, you're inconvenienced. If it doesn't work on your firearm and you're using that firearm for self-protection, uh, you're not merely inconvenienced, you could be dead. This debate's been going on for years. Manufacturers have been promising smart guns unsuccessfully for decades. In fact, Lodestar's one of a few firms developing this technology today. But now they say it's different and their product will be embraced. My son said to me, my coffee maker's smarter than your firearm. You know, and it's true. And if, if we can make a, a, make a gun safer by using technology and the technology's ready, why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we? It's time. Lodestar setting its sights on going to market in 2023. Its guns will be more expensive than regular handguns. However, the company believes their impact will be priceless and will help trigger much needed change to gun safety in America. Benji Heyer, CGTN, Tennessee.